After being absent for four years, baby armadillos have returned to our backyard. They are using the same den as they did in June 2011. Hi little baby, you're a good little armadillo. Oh, don't be frightened. I know, you're hungry. The nine-banded armadillo is the Texas State small mammal. It is an unusual mammal closely related to sloths and anteaters. Its body is covered with a bony shell that acts like armor, protecting it from predators. Armadillos are designed for digging and do so constantly. They dig for food, mostly ants, termites, grubs, and other small invertebrates. Their sensitive noses can detect insects through eight inches of soil. They lap up the insects with their sticky tongues. Although armadillos are sometimes considered pests because they mess up gardens, uprooting bedding plants, they actually are beneficial to the environment. They frequently consume insects that cause the most damage to crops and lawns. They are one of the few animals that consume fire ants as part of their diet. This one is searching for insects in my compost pile. Now I won't need to aerate it. Adult armadillos are about the size of a large house cat. Females give birth to identical quadruplets in the spring. After birth, the quadruplets remain in the burrow, living off of their mother's milk for three months. They then begin to forage above ground. Armadillos have poor eyesight and can easily be startled. This one retreated to the safety of its den when I accidentally frightened it. If armadillos can't dig under it, they will climb over it. They can scale large boulders and fences. Armadillos have a particularly interesting method of crossing water. When facing a small stream, they simply walk across the bottom. However, when facing a large body of water, armadillos will swallow air inflating their intestines, becoming buoyant, and then simply swim across. Adult armadillos are solitary animals. These juveniles will disperse to occupy separate territories during the next few months. For now, however, they are best of friends, warning each other when danger is near. I made an armadillo feeder so that we could watch them from the house. They were attracted to the damp potting soil, grubs, and earthworms. They stopped disturbing nearby bedding plants after the feeder was installed.
Similar to human beings, armadillos can carry leprosy. Scientists believe that people transmitted the disease to armadillos about 400 to 500 years ago. Transmission of leprosy from armadillos to human beings is rare. It requires close contact with the animals and their saliva. The best advice is to avoid unnecessary contact. In Texas, two cases of leprosy have been documented from eating raw or undercooked armadillo.